Hi everyone, this is George Kinkoff and I'm an amateur astrophotographer and in this video I'm taking a picture of the lunar eclipse of 2021. So it is morning of November 19th, the time is uh, almost, it's almost 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm taking the pictures of the lunar eclipse already as it started almost an hour ago. Let's jump into the video and let me show you some phases of the lunar eclipse that is occurring right now. So basically, lunar eclipse occurs when the moon is getting covered by Earth's shadow. This event happens twice a year, and this is the second time in 2021 when we can see the lunar eclipse. Tonight, I'm observing the partial eclipse, where 97% of the moon will be covered by Earth's shadow. Even though that's the partial eclipse, it's still really cool to see how the moon is getting covered by Earth's penumbra and umbra shadow eventually. And also, I'm really glad that I got an opportunity to observe the lunar eclipse tonight, as uh, like literally a couple hours ago it was rainy out here and I, I wasn't sure if I'll be able to see lunar eclipse and now I'm actually observing lunar eclipse using my telescope so I'm taking some pictures using my Skywatcher 16-inch reflector telescope now I want to get some close view pictures of the moon and closer to its maximum phase which occurs at 4.02 a.m. in the morning which is, uh, is lesser than an hour I'm planning to switch to my Skywatcher 80 ED telescope and I'm planning to get wider pictures of the lunar eclipse where I'll be able to see not just the moon but also some background stars. Alright, the time is 3.52 am in the morning. Uh, you're looking at the live view of lunar eclipse now and we've almost reached the maximum phase of the eclipse. You can see how almost the whole surface of the moon is covered by Earth's shadow now. Also, the moon is turning red or kind of orangish now. Even though the moon is in the shadow, some light from the sun still passes through the Earth's atmosphere and uh, is bent towards the moon. Only red color that has the longest wavelength reaches the moon, while different colors in the spectrum are blocked and scattered by Earth's atmosphere. That is why during the lunar eclipse we see that the moon is getting like reddish or orangish colors. And now I'm planning to switch to my Skywatcher 80D telescope and get some wider field of view pictures. Alright, so the time is 4.02 a.m. in the morning and we've reached the maximum phase of the lunar eclipse. And as you can see, I switched to my Skywatcher 80D telescope and I'm taking wider field of view pictures of the lunar eclipse now. And also what I can say that the seeing has become much better, which is also really good. So I believe I'll be taking 8 seconds of exposure subs for the next like maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And later on I'll not be able to take these long exposures because the moon will be going out of the Earth's shadow. Okay, so it's 4.44 a.m. in the morning and I switched to my Skywatcher 6-inch reflector telescope. We passed the maximum phase of the lunar eclipse like 40 minutes ago and I was able to get pretty good pictures of the moon. So I'll be taking pictures of the moon using neutron reflector for the next like maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll take everything apart and go to sleep because it's almost 5 a.m. in the morning. Uh, basically, that is all I got for tonight, guys. I just wanted to share with you some moments from my observations of lunar eclipse on November 19th, 2021. Let me know in the comment section down below if you also observed that lunar eclipse and how observations went through. That would be interesting to read your stories, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel because I have more videos about amateur astronomy and astrophotography coming. For you, it is time to see the final picture of the lunar eclipse that I got. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future videos, and until then, later skies.